Dennis, thanks for coming to the clinic. I hope you got a lot out of it. We're going to start off with your underwater video here. And the first thing I want you to notice is uh, you're pulling with straight arms. And uh, as you get a little further down, you can see here at the finish of your stroke, see how your hand is coming up to the surface there, coming out of the water at the same time your elbow is. Well, your elbow is supposed to lead the hand out of the pull. So what I want you to start thinking about uh, is what they call an early release of the pull. So as your hand gets down to the, your waist, stop the pull and lift the arm straight out of the water from your elbow. You lift the elbow up first. All right. Uh, other thing is the arms are really much, pretty much 180 degrees from each other, right there and there. They're not really sort of catching up to each other out in front. So I really want you to work on the catch up freestyle where the hands are touching in front. Get real comfortable doing that. That's that's going to be sort of the basis of your stroke. Because you're noticing, if you see where you're starting your pull, and you come back here, you're starting your pull with your shoulder very, very low or very deep in the water. Right there, and there, and there. And that you just don't have any power with a low shoulder. It's just not a position that you're very strong at. Nobody's strong in that position. So we want to make sure that uh, we're aligning the body rotation and the pull together. And what's happening is you're rotating after you pull and you need to start that pull a lot sooner. So catch a freestyle will be great uh, for you to do. Uh, also, you, you'll be able to start bending those elbows when you do the catch a freestyle. It's real hard to bend the elbows because you're pulling with a straight arm. It's real hard to bend those elbows when you're starting to pull on your side because you just can't bend the elbow out from that angle. So, but that being said, you need to get a bent elbow. All right, the other thing is the hands are going down right into the water, catching bubbles. There's no glide in front of your stroke. You're just working real hard, a lot harder than you have to to go through the water. So you really want to focus on gliding. So do some one-arm freestyle and some six-feet kick. Here's your above water, and you can see how the hand is coming up and over. You're, you're, you're trying to lead the recovery with the hand, and it should be led from the elbow. All right, so you want to pull back a little bit past the waist, stop pulling, and just lift that elbow straight out of the pool, out of the water, bring the arm forward from the elbow, not the hand, and put the hand in and extend forward and glide and roll to your side. All right, you really need to widen that stroke out. All right, you're over rotating on the stroke. So the other thing, I'll do some heads up freestyle. That's a great drill, you can check that out. So six kick drill, one arm catch up, and heads up freestyle would be great drills to focus on that. And also work on some sculling for the start of your catch. I wish you the best of luck.